Hey guys, it's Yukon and out here on the spring with icicle. And it is beautiful out here. And we're just romping around. And I really couldn't get this situation in Japan out of my head for the last couple days. And ever since I posted that video, the return of the ancient gods. The timing of that video, I, like as I stated in the video, right up, uh, I was not even going to post that video because I didn't really think it was that good of a video. It was just some random thoughts, and I repeated myself, and I didn't think it was that great of a video. But, when I woke up the next morning, and I saw the that one of the largest earthquakes in the history of the world <laughs> had taken place... It, basically as I was making that video I felt compelled to, to post it because that's exactly what I was stating I was warning that we were heading for that all signs were leading all roads were leading to uh, a, a world in transition to a new age of catastrophe as the ancients called it they referred to that time period at the end of the last ice age as the age of catastrophe. And it was a time when civilizations all around the planet were being destroyed. That's That period of time is the wellspring from which the legends of Atlantis flowed. And we, of course, received those legends in large part from the ancient Egyptians who related those legends to the ancient Greeks because the Greeks had lost their history in the age of catastrophe <laughs> and of course the ancient Irish and Central and South Americans and the Aryans of India they all share the same stories that there was an age long ago when catastrophe set upon the earth and the message that I was trying to relay in my last video was that, in my opinion, all signs point to the fact that we are returning to that point, to a new age of catastrophe. And in my opinion, that's the hallmark of the Ice Age. That's a hallmark of a planet in transition into and out of an Ice Age. That being said, I feel that it's quite possible that our use of nuclear power may well make us a shoe-in for human extinction. In fact, for extinction of basically all life forms on the planet. Cockroaches may survive, bacteria may survive, and viruses may survive, and there may be a few other organisms that are able to survive an irradiated environment but um, by and large that that's what that the use of nuclear power means to me and I don't know if you can make this out but those are sea creatures here in the middle of the Ohio River Valley encased in stone and these sea creatures once swam in a large, vast inland sea in this area, entire area was a vast inland sea, and then an age of catastrophe beset them and wiped them all out, or nearly all of them out. Now, a normal catastrophic mass extinction event associated with ice ages and pole shift, you're looking, and they vary, but you're looking at, basically we would have, if you're over 80 pounds body weight, if you're a creature over 80 pounds, you're looking at a 60% chance of extinction. That seems to be the general rule, and some people might argue that percentage a little bit here or there. Some extinctions were bigger than others. <laughs> the, however, in my opinion, our use of nuclear power makes us a shoe-in. We are a shoe-in for human extinction, in my opinion, and uh, it. 
if, 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 if my scenario proves to be correct, if the Ice Age scenario proves to be correct, then if we are moving into this new age of catastrophe, which I believe we are, and I, I, I don't know how many more signs you would need to, to convince you of the possibility. Uh, massive earthquakes all around the planet, uh, unprecedented <laughs> modern volcanism. Um, the Rift Valley in Africa, scientists tell us, is just tearing the entire continent of Africa apart at, at, at an accelerated rate here in the last few years. Uh, the Yellowstone supervolcano region, in, in, in lifting the entire area there, lifting and experiencing massive earthquakes and on and on and on as I've mentioned in the previous video the normal extinction that would be associated with the pole shift and with the transition into an ice age we've only had a, maybe a 40% chance of survival and that doesn't mean individually that means as a species we only had a 40% chance in my opinion our use of nuclear power makes us a shoe in we're, we're, we're done we're toast and the reason for that is simply because look at the thousands of nuclear power plants all over the world and and, and facilities and storage can facilities and i mean what's going to happen in france for instance when their mass you know almost the entire country there runs on nuclear power what's going to happen when they start receiving 20 foot snowfalls 30 40 foot snowfalls on those cooling tower roofs what, what what's going to happen What's, what's going to happen when ice sheets start moving across Europe and threatening all those nuclear facilities? Now, the normal roof on a, on, on a house can only...